I think it's important to expose girls to, to the tech industry and that's primarily why I started Girl Code. I want girls to know that they're not alone, you know, and from um, the event like our hackathon, they can see that there's other women in the space and they can collaborate and work on creating innovative solutions. The journey this far for Girl Code has come a long way. Um, we started off just doing hackathons, um, getting a bunch of girls come together, build a community. I think we've moved past that. We've moved to actually getting involved in terms of helping them with their skills, teaching them the specific skills they actually need in the workplace, not only at um, university level. So I found out about Girl Code about three years ago when they actually sent a proposal through for one of the initiatives and I then asked them if I could be their mentor. So I've been their mentor for the past three years. I entered because uh, there's not a lot of opportunities for girls for such kind of events. Like mostly the hackathons, it's dominated by guys and it gave us, gives us an opportunity to work and collaborate with other girls and to also show our talents and abilities. The Saturday, uh, teenagers and young ladies or men, men all around the planet are looking for ways to chill uh, but they've taken the time out from, from potentially very hectic social diaries to spend the next two days in fact here coding and looking for ways to improve and improve themselves. They've taken up the challenge that's been put forward to them and I think that's phenomenal. I'm passionate about tech. I think it's it's where every industry is going, right? So it's no longer you're not going to have a tech industry in the future. You know, it's going to be part of every single company and so forth. And it's really important that girls um, have a voice. Initiatives like the Girl Code Hackathon are very important because it allows people like me to participate and meet other women in similar circumstances to see that you can make it here to connect, um, basically. The reason why we started the initiative of Girl Code was because we wanted to change the narrative within the ICT space. I've been working in the ICT space for about five years now, and it's very male-dominated. Um, if you walk into the IT department or the developers' areas, it's always just males. So we d I joined the initiative because I wanted to see a change. I wanted to see females get more involved in something so powerful. Because we know that the job market is currently moving towards the digital age. We're moving towards digitization. And we don't want to leave any girl behind. I am passionate about getting more women and girls in this industry because coding is a girl thing. In fact, the first code was written by a woman, Ada Lovelace, it's, so it's a girl thing. Um, it's definitely um, just, I think in anything, in any kind of career path, um, there should be a balance uh, and ladies should know that, you know, this is for them too. It's, it's, not, it's not tough. You know, and even if it's tough, we, we still can do it. I entered the hackathon because I like coding and I'd like to know more about it and get better at it. The end goal for Girl Code is to have a digital academy that will run across the whole of Africa as well as, God willing, worldwide. We would have liked to have upskilled as many black females as possible. The solution to our challenge, we've decided to create um, a platform for NGOs where they can go and they cre create their own profiles on the website and then we have people who then go in and see which NGO they want to volunteer for and what they want to do. We decided to focus on social welfare and the problem we identified was mostly youth unemployment. We chose to focus on the unemployed youth who are actually qualified but are not getting jobs or are taking long to actually secure jobs after graduation. We chose to look at women to create awareness about abortion and surrogacy adoption. And we are designing a, a voting app for everyone who owns a smartphone. With the female participation of women in technology being minimal in the industry currently, it's very important that we, number one, find those women, number two, develop them, number three, create access to market opportunities for them to engage and get empowered and uh, be exposed to the greater market. Can I get like a drum roll or something? So the winners of the fourth annual Go Code Hackathon goes to Rubies. <laughs> Well done! So there's a travel bag. Oh god. 
Well done. <laughs> <laughs> well done, guys. Well done. A special thanks to the mentors as well. Um, there's one specific mentor who really helped us when we felt like our lowest in the 48 hours. Um, it was really tough. And also a special thanks to the judges. Speaking from experience, I've always been someone who is kind of uh, feeling insecure or feeling as if I wasn't good enough to be in the tech industry. And it really helps to read blogs about other women who've attended events that are very helpful where they are uh, in like male-dominated fields, but they're still conquering and they're still making it. And it just reminds you that it is possible. We were